Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another bonus love read and this reading is going to be for all of you out there who are dealing in a third party situation with your person and you really want to know will they ever choose you over them? Yes or no? This reading is definitely for you if you want to know that. I will also be pulling out some oracle guidance for you and what can you do to make it happen quicker as well. So stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. And for personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I'm offering, including palm readings as well. If you're willing to get that done with me, check the description box. So let's see. Will they ever choose you over the third party? Yes or no? The magician, you can definitely manifest what you want with this person and this, uh, and regardless of what the current situation is, regardless of the current circumstances, you can definitely manifest it. You have all that it needs and it takes to have what you want. So for some of you, you're maybe kind of like, you know, um, you, you are not understanding your own powers, your own uh, uh, abilities to make it happen. I feel like, you know, for some of you, you are taking yourself so easy around it. I feel like, you know, you got to know one thing, that this person, um, they are magnetically drawn to you. Um, they love you. They have a strong connection with you. When you focus on all these positive things and thoughts, it is going to, you know, magnetize them towards you even more. So make sure that you're using your thoughts well to manifest what you want. Uh, make sure that you are... Kind of like you know kicking out all the opposite thoughts because i really feel like you know they will definitely choose you over all and everyone but you have to fix your thoughts you have to manifest it you will have to work towards it because for some of you or maybe for majority of you you are not understanding your own powers around it um maybe you're thinking like maybe you know because there is a third party involved here maybe you feel like you know um you cannot control it you cannot have it you cannot like you know make it happen it's hard it's tough if you are thinking all those things, then you have to change it. You need to keep reminding yourself that you are perfect. Your person is like madly in love with you. Your person is like, they cannot stop thinking about you all the time. So you you make this person do what you want them to do. Use affirmations. That is also going to give you the results that you want. If you want, you can purchase from me, but you can always make your own affirmations as well. But yes, coming back to the point, I really feel like, you know, this person will definitely choose you if you could make it happen by using the power that you are being born with. So it's like an inborn thing and you just have to tap into it to get the results that you want. Let's see more cards here. Will they ever choose you? Will they ever choose you? You have to believe that yes, they will. Why, would, why wouldn't they? There you go. <clears throat> Will they ever choose you? Six of uh, Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Ace of Wands. The answer is a big yes. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, I really feel like, you know, this, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, they really believe that you are definitely somebody very important to them. You are their perfect match. You are, you know, somebody that they love and they want. But at the same time, I really feel like you know, they are connected with a third party uh, or they will be connected to the third party for some sort of financial give and take. Maybe they have financial responsibility with that third person and they have to take care of that. I feel like you know that might continue to happen. That might continue to stay there. But other than that, having a physical or any sort of like, you know, um, um, any sort of um, deeper connection than that, I really feel like you know that is not going to happen here. I really feel like you know it's a, uh, it's going to be more of a responsibility that they will have to still take care of with a third party, uh, whether it's like they have kids with that, whether it's like they have a financial responsibility in other any other possible way. Maybe they have financial you know uh, partnership with them in any possible way. They will stay in touch with that third party, but at the same time, emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually, I really feel like you know this person is going to choose you over them and everything. So at the same time, I really feel like you know, they will do the best that they could to keep you happy. But I really don't think that they will be able to detach themselves completely from the third party. 
uh, because of the liabilities that they will be having on your person. I really feel like, you know, um, for some of you, um, this person, like your person and the other person, I really feel like, you know, they already have a relationship where they have to take care of the responsibilities only. It's not like a loving relationship between them and them. Because I really feel like, you know, they, they really love spending time with you. They really love having you in their life. They really love making memories with you. So that other person seems like they are already, like, you know, very not so important to this person. But at the same time, I really feel like for majority of you, even if they have any sort of intimacy more than just that, they will be stopping that in the times to come. And you will be able to, you know, detach your person even more from the third party so they could come to you and give you all the love that they have to offer. Um, you will have to um, make it happen. For some of you, things might completely cut off between your person and them, and you will get what you want. But again, I feel like, you know, for some of you, there will be like, you know, if the marriage involved, I really feel like they will have the responsibilities and they will be still taking care of that relationship after, even if they choose you over them. Um, for some of you, they might choose to have you and the other person too in your life, uh, in their life. But at the same time, you would be their top priority, not the other person. The other person is going to stay in their life for, um, for, for the, again, for the same responsibility part of the relationship. But I really feel like, you know, this person has so much love for you. If you are in a no contact situation with them, they definitely keep an eye on what's going on in your life and situation like that. But for now, maybe they are unable to break free from the situation that they are in right now, which is the reason why they are not coming across as somebody who's like willing to take things forward with you. They might be like staying away from you. They might be like, you know, quiet right now. They're trying to figure things out for themselves. They want to make shit happen. Uh, shit, uh, you know, they don't want to make, uh, you know, shit happen again with you in your relationship with them. They really want to clear all the negativity that is influencing your relationship with them right now so they could come and fix everything with you so if you are in a no contact situation and this person is in a third party situation right now uh they really want to come forward when they have something solid and stable to offer which they are working towards right now so for some of you they might you know if they are married they might divorce the other person there will be financial liability liability still be you know on your person for you know regarding that connection but they will try their best to choose you or them in all possible ways but they are working towards it right now and for some of you it is going to be very hard for them to choose you over them uh in terms of like you know uh where they leave the third party and come to you i feel for majority of you it will be hard for them to cut off ties from the third party and be with you to you know completely 100 percent for majority of you i really feel like you know there will be like some sort of a connection between the them and the third party uh, again, the reason could be financial liabilities. The reason could be, um, you know, that that person is financially, you know, dependent on your person, or they have other commitments that they have to take care of. Maybe they have, com you know, combined business or something like that. But they will be like, you know, staying in touch with, you know, or something to do with finances regarding that. But um, I really feel like, you know, other than that, I really feel like, you know, this person and you are definitely gonna be like, you know, they will be choosing you. But for majority of you, I really feel like, you know, they will have to. Um, keep in touch with the third party for sure. But if we talk about like, you know, who is going to be more important to them, it's going to be you. Who they would want to spend more time with, it's going to be you. Who they would always like prefer, it's going to be you. But they will be unable to kind of like, you know, somehow cut ties with the third party there. But they, you can still make it happen. You can still manifest. Now, if I say that you can manifest, then you will have to work towards it. Because in some cases, if even if your person has to be like you know in their life for some reason make sure that you manifest something good for the third party so they leave your person for another person or for another situation if that is something that you want to do you can definitely do that as well to bring your person back to you and you know whole and complete like you know where they don't have to have anything to do with the other person you can manifest that too but you will have to work towards it but for majority of you i really feel like you know your person loves you more than anybody else they want you more than anybody else but at the same time there will be like you know some some situations tying them together that they will have to take care of uh you know in in a, in a in a way or two even after they choose you over them so for some of you like for very few of you i really feel like your person might choose you over them but for others of you um i really feel like you know they will be um you know they for some of you they will choose you know, for all of you, they will choose you over them. That's one thing. But for majority of you, they will have to be having a contact with the third party in one way or the other for finances, for liabilities, for responsibilities, for whatever, for business, for whatever. But 
for very few of you, they will completely cut ties from the third party and come to you only and have a solid relationship with you only. So especially if they have marriage with that third party, I really feel like no, it's going to be tough. But if they don't have marriage with that person or any financial connection with each other, it will be easier for them to cut ties with that person. But they really see a solid connection of them and you uh, in the times to come. So definitely, they will definitely choose you over anybody. But for some of you, that has to happen. They have to take care of something. Uh, let's see. Um, guidance for you in this situation. What can help you? What do you need to do to get what you want? What can help you to have what you want? What can help you to have what you want? <clears throat> Write a gratitude list. Being grateful for having what you have and want, uh, you know, wishing to have what you want and claiming it to be yours already and then thanking God for it. It's, it's like gratitude journal can help you get what you want. Thanking already for the things that you desire as if like you already got them. That can also help you manifest what you want. You can also use scripting. You can also use... Uh, uh, affirmations like I said make sure that you get into all of that work because that is going to work you work wonders for you in your love life situation with this person make sure that you clean your space make sure that you're always clearing out some negativity out of your place out of your mind out of your soul out of your thought process um, you know do the cleaning more often to cleanse out the energy that might be blocking your path to have what you want um, and when we talk about cleaning your space it means cleaning your mind as well because I feel like you know sometimes we we do have lots of negativity lots of uh, uh, kind of like you know uh, insecurities that that uh, stop us from progressing in any area of our lives but it comes to your question here i feel like you know there's something that you can do to cleanse out the negativity that you might be holding on to in your mind that maybe you know they will never leave the third party no don't affirm that say that you know i'm so happy that you know uh, they have chosen me and we are living happy together now so do something like that do you make an affirmation replace that negative thought with a positive one instantly to have the result make a meal i feel like you know if you have um you know you can uh, you can um make happy positive meals where you where you kind of like you know um uh, adds much love into the meal and make this person eat that meal as well that is also going to help you a lot with you know manifesting more love and connectivity between you and this person so they don't have to go back to the other person as well so you can do that as well to make your connection with this person more solid and more um you know positive filled with love and um, I feel like for majority of you, you would get a happy family life with this person eventually. So, um, but yes, for some of you, you will have to make hard effort towards it. For others of you, you would be able to manifest it easier than um, others. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. And if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. Till I do the next read, take care, bye.